Greetings fellow 50p collectors, Coin Snatcher here. We'll have an update tonight on the 50p collection. And for this update we're starting off with a Gibraltar 50p. So generally there doesn't seem to have been that many Gibraltar 50ps released recently. This is tray 2. There's another tray up in the shelf. I'll go back with uh, these little coins that have all spun around. But the Battle of Trafalgar and the capture of Trafalgar or Gibraltar or something like that. All those coins. But <clears throat> the last coin they released was 2022. And that was this one of the Queen and the King with the Orb and Scepter in between them. Uh, that was the previous coin, 2021. And then we had the Catherine and William coin before that. And there was a colour version of that coin as well. So the coin that we have to have a look at today is this one that's arrived. Now this, I like the design on this. I've also seen exactly the same design on a £5 coin. Uh, just while we've got this in its little card, you'll see it's from the Coin Club. Um, when I started collecting coins, Coin Club were breaking into the market. They were new and they claimed to be the cheapest 50p supplier on the market. So back in the day, I'm sure their 50p's were £2.99, which they, I'm sure they did the price to undercut the Westminster collection. But I've just been on the website looking for this coin and I cannot find it on the website anymore. But I did notice that they're 50p's now, all seem to be 4 95 So they've shot right up in price. So it looks like another coin company that's taken the piss out of collectors. But anyway, let's have a little zoom in on this coin because there's quite a bit of detail on it. There we go. So this is the entrance to Westminster Abbey. And it's celebrating the coronation of King Charles, uh, 6th of May, 2023. Uh, the coronation of His Majesty King Charles written in script around the outer edge of the coin. And the detail on it is really nice. Lots and lots of lines there for the abbey. Really nice. You've got the crown there. You've got uh, King I'm sorry, excuse me, King Charles Cipher. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice looking coin. If we take it out of this little capsule and flick it over, then we have the obverse of the coin with the the portrait of King Charles III. Nice looking coin as well. Oh, got my fingerprint on it, I think, already, but hey-ho, not to worry. Uh, we'll pop that over to the side and... It's a nice looking coin this i'm quite impressed with this coin uh if you do go on the coin club website i couldn't find this so you might have better luck than me but that's a proper nice coin isn't it looks really good the we'll put that in a capsule actually let's get that let's get that in there and um, we'll pop that in there and oh very quickly, I think I'm going to be stuffed quite soon because the next Gibraltar 50p that comes out is going to fill that space and then we'll need either a new tray to put uh, the, the the Jersey 50p's into or Guernsey, Jersey, Guernsey Frisias, these are Guernsey aren't they? Yeah, they're Guernsey and then these ones. Oh, oh. The Ducal Cap of Normandy. There we go. Anyhow, so yeah, one more space left. And yeah, we'll need another tray, I think. We'll chuck this away. We don't keep them. Just while I'm here, Mr. Kipling, you're a Robin bastard. 2 95 for six of those little Viennese worlds. But if, like me, you have a Tesco club card, £1.25. The only problem with these is... is if I can, about the size of my fucking thumbnail so for any real man or any real woman you can eat about six of those with your cup of tea it's not a problem anyway moving swiftly onwards I'm still thinking to have material to go into my Jeremy Vine video which is coming up soon I'm just trying to work out whether I should address him as a male a female or an in-between uh, anyway so the second coin we have let's get rid of this tray 
And this is the Isle of Man, one of my favorite coin collections, the Isle of Man Viking Ship Collection. And this is tray number two. And um, we've got some spectacular coins in this collection. But we don't have one to add in today, but we do have a coin that I took a little punt on because I thought it was interesting. And it wasn't too expensive. It was only a couple of quid. A A A A A die mark on that one. And right, so this is the one I wanted. So this is a 1984 AB coin. Let's pop it out and have a little squiz at it. So the, the reason I wanted to show this coin is we can see that we have the AB die mark just underneath the five and the zero. But more importantly, we have quite a pronounced rim on the 50p, which we would expect to see on every 50p. And um, we've got a nice, nice condition coin here as well. Pop it over to the obverse. We've got the matching portrait of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. And again, a nice condition coin. Nothing too spectacular, reasonably common coin. Uh, I would imagine pick it up for probably between five and ten pounds. But the coin that I purchased is also a 1984 AB die mark coin. And the reason for purchasing this one wasn't because of this indent on the side of it. It was because when I was looking at the pictures, I could see that there didn't look to be much of a rim on this coin. So I do like a, an error coin and I do like a coin that's been damaged as well. So when we have a little zoom in on this coin, there is no rim at all around this coin. Uh, there's a little bit here. This has been indented in here. And we can see there's, you can see there's a little bit of damage to the rim again. Looks like it may, may have suffered from a little bit of acid or something, but this is what the coin should look like. And this is obviously what this one looks like. So if we have a little zoom in there, you can see the AB die mark on that coin just here. And if we zoom over here, you can see a much clearer AB die mark on the left hand coin. And then overall, we've got a, a very rough sort of speckled finish on this coin. There's little holes here in the coin. The whole thing is, you can feel the, the pattern on it, but it's not raised up like this one where you can clearly, clearly see the definition on it. You've got the, the uh, reflection on that coin as well. But when you come over to this coin, well, you can just see it's very, very mottled, isn't it? Doesn't look too healthy at all. It's been indented in the side, but I guess that dent could have been done by man. And zooming in on it, we can see it just looks generally well fucked. Excuse my French. Look at this. So I had a look at this as well. Maybe harder to see it in the camera with the magnification. Let me zoom out a bit and see if we can get that. I'm not sure maybe if this coin has been filed or not. So it's either been filed or it's been scraped along something, scratched along something. Very hard to say. I wouldn't say that. I don't think it's a mint error coin. But let's pop it over to the obverse. And we've got a big slash across the coin here. Again, uh, I wouldn't claim that to be a cracked die. Uh, it looks more like a scratch on the coin. But we can see like just generally overall much as the reverse of the coin the obverse of the coin there's even just rubbing my finger on that you can't feel the rim of the coin at all and the, let's pop this one over as well and the queen's head's not looking too good on it so you can see the difference in definition between the two coins and like this one is in mint condition you know this one isn't perfect either it's got a nick on it it's been circulated but compared to this one again where you have this sort of textured surface so again is it one of these coins that has come into contact with something acidic and it's caused that damage hard to tell really isn't it 
you got a little tiny sort of a flick on the tail here of the four, which you don't seem to have so pronounced on this side. And then our PM Popjoy Mint Mark is a uh, very nearly gone there. I think I said that was the matching portrait. It's, it's probably not. It's probably just Pop Joy's own portrait. So there we go. That was the other purchase. Pretty knackered. It's flat. It's smooth. Can't really feel that when I stick my finger into it. And of course, if it was a cracked die, we'd be looking for a raised line. To me, that just looks like somebody's, well, just been done with a knife. It's been scratched or something. Oh, the old phone's not happy. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. So there we go. We've got a, an, another 50p. This isn't going into the collection as such. I'll, I'll just put this up in the shelf with all the other sort of oddments and oddities that I have. Wouldn't, wouldn't classify it as a genuine error, but you can see the difference between the two coins. So anyway, comments below and uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, either tomorrow or Monday, I'll do my, my Jeremy Vine video. I want to get a little bit of material together for that. I might actually do, rather than just spouting on, I might do a little bit of research for that. But anyway, that's it for now. Peace and love. Coin snatcher out.